Hey guys, in this video, we're going to mix a song from start to finish. This is an acoustic pop country kind of song. So we're going to take the mix from this. If you need some crank it up in your speakers, if you need some mind covering your tires, to this. If you need some crank it up in your speakers, if you need some mind covering your tires. One of my good friends and a longtime client to the studio, Jake Davey, has sent me an acoustic version of his latest single, Count on a Country Song. It's got some cajon, acoustic guitars, bass, banjo, there's some percussion elements, some pop elements, harmonies, pianos, etc. So it's got a lot of elements in it and it should be a fun one to mix. So come along for the ride and let's check this out. So all I've done so far in a session is arrange it how I like it and I've got a reference track here but I won't be playing that just so we don't get any copyright flags. Now one thing that I've done so far is I've sent all of the tracks to bus 32 which is where I like to send my mix bus. On this I've just added Slate Digital's VMR with just VCC on the Brit 4K and I have a 6 decibel trim just so that nothing gets too hot on the mix bus. And then after that, I've just put a limiter on here for now, just the Pro L2, and just with a slight boost in it, occasionally this is limiting about one or two decibels. I'm mainly putting this on so that the audio that you're hearing doesn't get clipped, and so we can boost the volume just a tiny little bit, just so the audio is not too quiet while you're watching this. To start with, let's just set up some groups for our sounds. So I'm gonna put all of the cajons in a group, so right click on that, create track stack, now our cymbals and all of our effects and percussion, I'm just gonna put all of this stuff into a group. Just label that effects slash percussion. The bass is fine as is, so let's go to the acoustic guitar. This is a left and a right signal, so let's make a stack of these. I'm gonna put our grand piano and our organ into a keys bus. Banjo is fine as is. I'm going to put all of our vocals into a stack. Now, we'll just do some quick color coding so we can visually see everything up here that we're working on. Now, these are all edited and tidied up already. So we don't need to do any fixing, tuning, timing stuff. We're just mixing. But what I might do real quickly is just trim out some silences so I can visually see where things come in and it makes it easier for me to identify where parts are entering and exiting. So to add a quick glance, you can see where they're coming in. All right, that's looking pretty good. And I've got this boosted up so we can see the waveforms a lot easier. It's not clipping. Okay, let's just bring some stuff up, get a bit of a rough mix going on the levels, and then we'll dive into processing these sounds. We've got a left and a right. I'm gonna send these to a bus so I can process them together. So it's kind of like the cajon overhead and make sure we send that into our cajon bus there. Put a crash here. So we've got two crashes. Let's see how it sounds panning these left and right. Maybe not hard left and right. That yeah, sounds all right. Let's check out these reverse effects. So we've got two here. They seem to always happen together. So let's try panning these left and right a little bit. Kind of cool, maybe a little bit narrower. Yeah, that's cool. This next one, a sweep effect. It's kind of cool. Bring that down a little bit. All right, next we've got some tambo. Pan that off to the side for now, but if we need it back center for the back beat, we'll bring it back later. Slap clap. I want this louder or a bit more gain to play with. I'm just gonna chuck a gain plug in on here. Just boost this up like, let's give it 10 dB. Turn it down. Yeah, I like that there. Now let's bring in our bass. Kind of liking it around there. Let's get our acoustics panned left and right because we've got a stereo acoustic track here. Let's bring this in. Seems to be louder on one side. Might just change it again on this track. So I've just double clicked this, brings up the, the audio editor here and then I just have a shortcut set for Shift X. I don't think that's a, a shortcut in Logic, 
but you can just do it in the functions tab and change gain. And I'm just going to boost this up maybe like 4 dB and see if we can match these up a little bit better. Left side's still a little bit heavier. Let's just go one more. Let's just keep going, add some keys in. Very bouncy key sound. It's kind of cool. See what this organ's doing. Um, I think the organ in this is just more a bit of flavor. So generally when I bring this up and I start to hear the organ, it's usually around there that I stop or pull it back a little bit once I hear it because it takes up a lot of room in the mix. Let's bring in this banjo track. I'm kind of liking the banjo off to the right, but maybe we could just pan our piano slightly to the left a little bit to balance this out a bit. Let's just leave that there for now. All right, I think that's feeling pretty good as far as rough levels go. We've got a bit of a feel, we've got our panning. Now let's just dive into doing some processing and try and spice this up a little bit. So I'm gonna quickly listen to my reference track just to get my bearings and then we're gonna dive into this. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can check out more videos as they're released. All right, what I'm gonna do is across all these tracks is I'm gonna put VMR on it. Now VMR, I have it just set so when I put it on, it loads up with VCC on the 4K E module. So it's just like an SSL desk kind of thing. It's pretty subtle. Let's start with these drums, see what we can do. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just like add a little bit of compression to this. So on the Cajon bus, we're gonna go from the top down, I think. Gonna add a little bit of 1176 kind of parallel compression. Okay, let's just put a bit of a trim on this. Let's go over to our overheads here on the Kahan. Let's just see if we can get a bit more bite on that, so that kind of snare sound. Just bring a bit of 8K in there. Kind of liking around here around 6K. It's giving me the bite I want to hear on that slap. Let's just take some of this out. Do that like honky mid-range stuff around 800 hertz. Let's have a listen to our kick of the Cajon. So this is very focused low end sound already. Not sure if this would sound any good, kind of gating it. Let's just give it a try, just a slight little bit of expander on it. So let's go the SSL 4KE. Just to tighten it up a little bit. Just go like eight dBs of expanding. Let's have a listen to our Cajon. It's a bit better. I feel like we can still get this to smack a bit harder. Let's just add some uh, transient designer on here. So maybe like the FG Bomber. I'm gonna change that to a bell. Kind of sounding a bit better. Bring our kick down a bit. Let's check the phase. Hmm. Maybe it's out of phase. Let's have a quick zoom in and check these. They are out of phase. Have a look at that. Okay. We could flip the phase of the audio file, but let's just do it in here. So flipping that. Cool, sounds heaps better. Okay, I still feel like I need something extra here, so I'm gonna bring in some Neve style EQ. 
I'm gonna put this before our compression on the, the Cajon bus. Need a little bit more attack. Might just put a little bit of compression on here. Kind of like the sound of the auto. It's kind of like very gluey on the drums. And my usual trick I like to do on this stuff is put some kind of limiter on here. I do like the Waves Ultra. I'm gonna boost into this, I think. I'm liking what I'm hearing. I'm just gonna pull a bit of this out. Not really liking that. I'm going to put some compression on the mix bus now. Now that we've kind of got the drums leveled roughly where I want them, I'm going to get some compression going on over here. I'm going to keep this mix in the box. Sometimes I run things out to my outboard gear and do like a compressor out here. I've got the SSL Fusion and, and an EQ over here, but we'll just keep it in the box for today. Let's just use the same compressor on the mix bus. Kind of a slowish attack, medium fast release. I tend to go between that and like the auto setting. So I'll play with that more as the mix develops. Let's have a look at our cymbals. I don't think there's much I would really do to these. They're kind of already very processed kind of sounding already. Just take a little, a little bit of that hiss out. Let's try copying that over. This one's a little bit harsher sounding, isn't it? Let me take a bit of that out. It's a little bit smoother sounding, with a bit less of that 6K in there. And our sweep sound. I'm gonna try just putting something on here to stereoize it a little bit, if that's a word. Might try sound toys. Let's just use micro shift. Kind of dig that. Just spreads it out a little bit. Let's have a look at these reverse effects again. Don't think I'm gonna touch these. Yeah, they're kind of fine as is. I'm gonna keep this tambo center just for more emphasis on our backbeat. Let's see what we can add to this. Just high pass this. There's nothing really going on down there. We're gonna add a bit more smack to it. Maybe some compression. It's a really hard ratio. Fast release. Way too loud, but it's kind of cool. Maybe um, some sort of reverb on here to, to spread it out a little bit. Let's try a vintage verb. Let's grab one of these ambient settings, maybe drum air. What do we got here? Let's try the same kind of short reverb on this and see how it sounds. All right, let's have a look at our bass sound. Get this sounding nice. It's the DI sound at the moment. Maybe we can put some kind of a bass amp on this. See what we can do. Although I do, I do tend to use the CLA bass a lot. So let's just see what this has to offer to start with. Getting rid of that honkiness, getting some subby vibes in there. Let's kind of see how that sounds. Might even just put a bit of compression before this just to help level it out a little bit. Let's go with the, the LA2A vibe.
So that's kind of what we got going on. Sounds pretty fat. Let's just chuck a teeny tiny bit of side chain compression on here, just to the kick. So I have a preset made for this already. Just like one or two dBs, just to help it kind of sit in there nicely with that kick on the cajon. Might just chuck a little bit of limiting on the bass, just to catch any random peaks that come through. We just want this kind of working ever so slightly. Just keeping our bass nice and even. Okay, so let's go to the acoustic now. Just gonna check my reference again. I think we need to, to brighten this up. Let's give it a go in here. Let's just get some SSL. Kind of bring in a little bit of like airy top end, sort of like from the 10K upwards, a little bit of presence around four and a half K. Gonna just high pass up to around hundred Hertz and see how this sounds. I feel like we need to cut some of this stuff out. We can now hear the guitar in the mix before it was just kind of like a bit too dark and just sitting in there and filling the space out, but undefined. Maybe a, a touch of compression on this. Let's try like the, the distressor on the, um, the preset here that they have, the natural acoustic guitars. It might just blend this like 50% mix. Maybe we'll speed that release up. Okay, so at the moment, can't really hear the piano that well with everything that's happening. Let's just compress this a little bit. There's a keys a leveler. This is kind of an interesting preset in this LA-2A that Slate Digital have. It's kind of a bit hectic, but let's see what it does. I'm gonna pull this mix knob right back. They're really good at like not level matching when they set up presets, but um, yeah, let's just turn this down a bit. I mean, that's kind of cool, about 20%. Kind of liking it around there level wise. Not sure whether we need to EQ this a little bit though. Let's go something a little different. Let's get the Neve on here. I'm gonna boost around that one and a half K area. Just helps us hear like all the notes and like the, um, the color that the piano is adding. Let's have a look at our organ. I don't think we'll do much to this. I'm gonna high pass it a fair bit. Just make it a little bit brighter and then just turn it down a bit more in the mix. Just so it's more of an, an exciting sound. More presency. All right, let's bring in the banjo. Let's see what we can do with this guy. I feel like we can maybe warm this up a little bit. It feels so wrong to like want to boost around 500 hertz because it's such a, a muddy kind of frequency in mixes. But um, 
I think that's what it needs. I mean, banjos are just kind of, they're gross, so it doesn't really hurt to add a little bit more grossness to it. It's actually not a banjo either. It's a ganjo. It's a guitar banjo, which is like cheating, but whatever. I have a ganjo, so I can say that. So we've got a rough mix going with the instruments now. So let's try and get these vocals sitting in here nice. Yeah. Ah, our vocals. What are they? Oh, no. 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 No, God, please, no. You are kidding me. No. Oh. Uh. No. The vocals were being sent to the main out and not to the mix bus. And the mix bus is being sent to what you guys are hearing. So we haven't been hearing the vocals, which is super frustrating because we're so far into this and to only just realize this. So that is why I've edited this now and you have not heard any vocals up until this point because I have messed that up majorly. But let me show you how I process the vocals really quickly and then we'll keep getting back into the mix. So to start with, we chucked on the UAD 1176E. Crank it up in your speakers if you need some mud covering your tires. Followed it up with the 2A just to like warm it up and thicken it a bit. Crank it up in your speakers if you need some mud covering your tires. And then some DSing before. Crank it up in your speakers if you need some mud covering your tires. If you want some and some DSing after. Crank it up in your speakers if you need some mud and then on our vocal bus, we have Smooth Operator. Crank it up in your speakers if you need some mud covering your tires. If you just smooth in the vocal out a bit. And then an EQ notch at around 7, 800 hertz, 765 hertz. Just a little bit of honk in the voice, which I heard mostly in the verse. You can count on the man to take too much of your take home pay. And then we copy pasted all those settings over to our other lead vocal and over to our harmonies. And on our harmonies, we are just hitting the DSR a lot harder. So let's check this out in the chorus. Crank it up in your speakers. If you need some mud covering your tires. If you want some words to sound a little sweeter. For the one that sets your heart on fire. If you need some more oh, 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 Cause you're getting your good time on. And that's about where we're up to. So sorry that you haven't heard any vocals in the mix. This is the reason why, because I messed up on the send from the vocal bus. So frustrating, but we're back in business. So I'm gonna add some spatial effects to the vocals. I wanna just get a bit of reverb, especially like on the reference I'm listening to, there's like a nice kind of long reverb on the vocal in the background. So let's see if we can get something similar like that going on. Go relab, I reckon. And there's a cool preset in here. Vocal pop long haul from our good friend Joe Carroll. Need some mud covering your tires. If you want some words that sound a little sweeter, for the one that sets your heart on fire. Let's bring in a little bit of delay as well. Down on the man to take to take Try a bit of spread on this. Take too much of your take home pay. You can count on being hung up on the one that got away. You can count on the first kiss to help you forget the drive home later that night. You can count on the radio to help you let it go or remember it for life. Kind of like it, it's just a bit heavy handed. We might um sort of side chain the vocal to this. So let's get a vocal bus. What is our bus? Bus five. Crank it up in your speakers. If you need some mud covering your tires. Don't on being hung up on the one that got away. Yeah, that's cool. Just kind of bring it right down so it's more like an ambience kind of thing. Might get like a, a stereo delay going on. Let's try Sound Toys Echo Boy. So let's get a dual echo. Crank it up in your speakers. If you need some mud covering your tires. If you want some words that sound a little sweeter. Yeah, digging that. We might even just automate that in for just the chorus. Here's the verse. No. Gonna turn it down here. If you need some crank it up it for life. If you need some crank it up in your speakers. Just to add something a little bit extra to the chorus there, some uh, different delay there on the vocals. Let's have a look at this ad lib vocal. Something for your soul. All right, 
let's it's kind of cheating but the CLA effects kind of does this pretty good something for your soul give me something. perfect just kind of adds that flavor to it pretty quick and easy something for your soul give me something. A perfect rhyme something for your soul give me something. A perfect I feel like this is really starting to take shape I'm going to take these off and have a listen out speakers and see where we're sitting Come on, let Drums on the dashboard, get you in the groove Yeah, you know what to do A little remedy, a hooky melody A little something for your soul I'll give me a country song mm, Yeah, yeah You can count some more, let you down Won't ever do you wrong you can, Cause you're getting your good time on Want some more, let you down Won't ever do Just feeling like the mid range is feeling as a little bit cluttered. Yeah. You can count on a country song down. Won't ever do you wrong. All right, we are getting pretty close here. We might just do a couple of little automation things, a couple of little tweaks. It's now just kind of me chasing the tone of the reference track a little bit and just trying to like just beef this up a little bit. I feel like the the organ could be kind of cool in the intro. We'll kind of like sweep it up a little bit. You can count. Just something like that. Just adds a little bit of character to it. Might just kind of do some automation across the entire mix. Get these verses a little bit softer so the chorus can pop a little bit harder. Stuff like that. So coming into our verse from our cajon up to our chorus, let's just do like a one and a half dB drop kind of thing. Same for the next verse. Up to our chorus. Same for our soft chorus. Maybe a little bit of a ramp up into it. Maybe go like two dBs here just to really bring it down a little bit more. And then I'm just going to cut and paste that across our buses here and then tweak it a little bit. Okay, let's check this out. You can count on the man to take too much of your take home. So I kind of feel like the acoustic guitar needs to be like backed off a bit in the verse here. So let's just take this down like an extra dB and a half. Count on the man to take too much of your take home pay. Organ can come down a little bit. Count on the first kiss to help you forget the drive home later that night. Might um bring this back a little bit so the banjo can kick through a bit there. Life, if you need some crank it up in your Here the chorus just hits a little bit harder now. Go or remember it for life. If you need some crank it up in Let's see if we can bring out that little slide in the organ. Yeah, it's kinda cool. Let's boost up this little banjo riff in the um post chorus. Country song. I think we could bring the organ up here, organ and banjo to kind of feature a bit more. Something. I reckon we can bring out that banjo a bit. Bring the organ back a little bit in the verse here, I think. A soundtrack to escape one. I reckon that's a great spot to bring out this organ right here in these accents. And then we'll drop it back down into the chorus. Yeah, you know what to do If you need some crank it up in your speakers I think our banjo just needs to come down like half a dB or more overall Crank it up in your speakers If you need some mud covering That feels better I think our banjo needs to feature a little bit more here A tree song You can count on a country Sorry, I'm just sporadically jumping around here just to find sounds to bring out and make things a little bit more exciting. I think we could do some fro reverbs and delays on the vocals here. Into let go. If you need some crank it up in your speaker, put your heart on fire. If you need some more, do you wrong? Oh, that's kind of cool, but maybe just like a little bit more subtle. Never do you wrong. Cut some of these delays at the end. Count on a country song. I like the kind of dry ending there without any 
effects on it. So that's kind of cool. I think we need to add a separate track for these lower vocals in the verse. They just need like a little bit extra compression compared to everything else. So let's cut them out. Let's just push these a little bit harder. You can count on the man to take too much of your take home pay. You can count on being hung up on the one that got away. You can count on the first kiss to help you forget. I feel like the acoustic is too loud in this verse. Something that reminds you that you ain't alone. A soundtrack to escape. Yeah, that feels a bit better. You know what to do if you need to bring up those hits. Yeah, you know what to do if you need some crank it up and Maybe that little banjo riff can cut through near the end there. If you need some crank it up in your speaker. I'm gonna put this clean de harsh thing on our mix bus. As far as the reference that I'm working off, you can only take it so far to trying to be like the reference until you start damaging the mix because it's never going to be exactly the same. And it shouldn't be because you're creating something new. But I feel like we're in the right ballpark and it's sounding pretty cool. All right, so after a quick break, come back, made a couple of changes, and I think I have the mix sitting a little bit better to where I want it now. So I'll run you through these little alterations that I made. So the drums, I am pushing them a little bit more into the limiter and just to get them a little bit punchier. I decided to take the, the CLA bass off, which was just getting a little too heavy in the sub, and actually decided I liked a bit more of the mid range of the bass coming through and there's a couple of runs and it makes the bass sound a little bit nicer. So we got rid of the CLA and basically just have a little bit of a push on the EQ around 5 dBs at 1.5K with a bell, a little cut at 500 Hertz. So just kind of cleaning up a little bit of murkiness in the mids, adding a little bit of upper mid brightness and then yeah, just a little bit of compression, nothing crazy on the bass. And then our acoustic guitar, we just shifted the frequency that we're cutting in the mids to about 380 hertz and did quite an aggressive cut, about 10 dBs. Which sounds pretty cool. For our keys, I ended up doing a bit of a cut on the bus in the mid range here. So it's about two to three dBs here. I did push some upper mids when we were mixing it. And then as I was listening more, it just felt a little cluttery in the mix. So rather than like going back in and like changing stuff, I've just put this EQ on the, the keys bus and I'm just kind of pulling a little bit of this out, which has helped kind of let the vocal sit a little bit clearer over the top of the mix without too much stuff fighting for that mid range. Um, similar thing with the banjo, just a bit of a cut in the mids, just a little bit honky sounding and just, um, just fighting with the vocal a little bit. And yeah, and that's got a sounding like this. If you need some crank it up in your speakers, if you need some mic cover in your tires, if you want some words to sound a little sweeter, for the one that sets your heart on fire. Overall now, feeling like that is sitting pretty good. And now this is ready for mastering, which I'll do at a later time with fresh ears again. Thanks for watching guys. That's kind of like diving into my mind while mixing and just looking at how I'm just approaching things as I go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. If you need some crank it up in your speakers.